Hey kids. All right, so this morning we're looking at something interesting. Something for the farm, something for the homestead, a tool that I think everybody should have on board. You don't need to break the bank to do it. This is a Mini 7, I think they call it the Intelligent 7 Incubator. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm, a place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Pretty simple in its design. It's got a nice little dome, which I'm going to enjoy because I'll be able to film right through this. Filming egg, uh, filming egg hatching. There's a little tray that holds the various uh, eggs that you would put in there. <clears throat> Down below, there's a little water reservoir. Down here, that you fill it full of water. So it's pretty, pretty simple design. Well, this may be a pretty simple design, but it frankly just did not work. As you'll see here as we continue the video. Let me cut to where I'm putting to fit the eggs into it. These are chicken eggs. You can easily hold duck eggs. And as you can see, you just simply put them in there like that. The dome goes on. I would like to lean them a little bit off to one side. When you first put them in, just sort of turn them all sideways that way including the guy in the middle. And then what you do is every six hours, you simply reverse the lean. You, uh, you turn them so that they all face the opposite direction. Make sure the water reservoir is full so we maintain moisture. And then on goes the little dome. Got a package, kids. How cool is that? Big shout out to Morgan Gold, Goldshaw Farm here, for sending me duck eggs. A gift from a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, really nice guy. Morgan's awesome. <laughs> We're going to answer the age old question which came first, the duck or the egg? I need a place to set these out here. These eggs were sent to me by Morgan Gold, Goldshaw Farm. Morgan, buddy, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you helping me out and sending me these eggs. The failure of this uh, hatch. Had nothing to do. Oh, Lily, there's nothing here for you. With the quality of the eggs, it all had to do with the failure of the uh, cheap incubator that I had. Two. Interesting how he did this. Three. Yeah, excellent job packing, man. Not one broken egg. Shipped from New England to me in Ohio and not one broken egg. All right, let's candle them and see how they look. You see a line there. That's the air bubble. Boy, the light on my cell phone really does a good job of candling, doesn't it? Kind of impressed by that much time in the nest and maybe aren't as fresh. Chirpy says, don't forget that Grandpa makes some awesome goat milk soap. Instructions for buying in the uh, description down below. Sit. So we're going to put them here in the incubator, let them rest for 12 hours before we start the incubator. Here's my little incubator. See how these guys fit. You want to put the pointy side down. I can tell you right now with duck eggs it's going to be a tight fit in this little incubator.
No, we don't. No, we don't. Not gonna work. Look at that. The eggs are so big it won't fit. Well, this one was kind of scratched up. I'm gonna take him out. That's still not big enough. I gotta go for a second egg. These are just normal duck eggs. Normal sized duck eggs. It won't fit. Damn it. The lid won't come down over it. Even with five eggs in there. Four eggs in there, it won't work. Four eggs, okay. I had a hard time getting this thing to, to get everything organized. All I could fit inside the incubator was four standard duck eggs. Again, the failure of this thing has nothing to do with the gold eggs that, that Morgan sent me. It's just a piece of crap uh, thing. I paid good money for it, bought it on Amazon. Piece of garbage. Now here we are at the 14-day mark. Notice the humidity inside the dome. Everything seemed at this point to be going just fine. So we're going to recandle the eggs here at uh, day 14 and see how they look. Remember we candled them when they first got here. Good. Definitely something in there. Look at that, no light at all. Huh. That thing is solid. Nope. Nope, not so much there. Something growing, but looks to be a long way behind the rest of them. Something growing. Oh, that one, that one seemed to be about the same. You can see a little bit of light down there at the end. Something growing. So basically, the incubator worked to begin with, but failed shortly thereafter. This is my new uh, Hova Bader Genesis that I just bought. Um, uh, got, I, I'm, I'm hatching some duck eggs right now. Yeah, I bought this one. A little different price structure. This is 200 and something bucks versus $23. So I'm hoping it works just a whole lot better. But I guess, you know, you're going to get quality, you're going to pay for quality, and uh, that was my mistake. I should have gone ahead and got the Hova Bader to begin with, but I tried buying the little affordable unit and uh, of course, that was my mistake. So again, the uh, inexpensive little uh, uh, dome type incubator, complete failure. In fact, uh, this year I tried taking it out of its box and plugging it back in and it wouldn't even turn on. It, it was completely, completely dead. So uh, again, big shout out to Morgan uh, at Goldshaw Farms. Really appreciate you sending me the eggs, buddy. Um, no fault of the eggs whatsoever. I, I completely put this failure at, uh, at me for being cheap and thinking I could buy this little cheap incubator and it would work. So let that be a lesson to us kids. All right, well, we're going to have more for you in the future. Please do like and subscribe. Share the videos with your friends and relatives, if you would. That helps build subscribers. Give us a big thumbs up and a like. We'd appreciate it. Folks, we'll have more for you in another day. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I'd be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. 
Folks, you have a good day. Bye.